What is going on guys? Ronnie Rock Smith here with USA Digi and USA Digi Academy. And today in this video, I wanna show you a little tool that I use to speed up my workflow and make me look 100% more professional. So welcome to another episode of Marketing Hacks. And in this video, I wanna show you a tool that I use called Optimize Press 2.0. Now, this is a page builder that is built for marketers. So if you're a marketer, you're gonna love this. Now, you may have heard of this program before. So I'm gonna show you the overview about the program itself, what I like about it, and what I don't like about it. But even though I don't like certain things about it, I continue to use it because I've been using it for so long, and it does what I need it to do. Okay, so we're on my website right here, usadigi.com. This is my marketing agency where we help local businesses get more leads and customers. So basically what I wanna show you though is uh, this was created using Optimized Press 2.0. So as you can see, it looks very professional. But I wanna show you the animation stuff here. Okay, so I'm gonna refresh this page. And as I scroll down here, you can check it out. Now, this animation stuff wasn't done with optimized Press 2.0, although it does have similar features in there where you can do things. But I found that this tool is a little bit more easier to use and I can use it, you know, across like any kind of website. Um, what I did was I did a review product on this uh, animation tool, which is called Click Animate. It was created by Josh Rata. Uh, I think it was actually last year sometime this came out. And uh, it's a really cool tool. And it actually animates right here live. So you wouldn't use this inside of Optimized Press's editor. You would use this on the live website itself or any website. So it works with any website. So really cool. So if you're interested in stuff that does, you know, animations on your site like that, what I did was I created a review because I do review products, marketing stuff and create bonuses, you know, for anyone who's interested in using my link to get that product. So I'm gonna leave that link in the description for you guys, check it out, click animate, check out my bonus. And basically what my bonus is for this is that it's going to show you, it's a, it's a training video that shows you how to use that piece of software, which is a browser extension, and how to use it with Optimized Press. So you have to actually put a specific code that it gives you inside Optimized Press in the editor, and then you're actually gonna come outside the editor into the live version, like you just go www. into the site, and you're gonna animate it right there. So really cool, go ahead and check that out. But let's get back to what this video is, Optimized Press. So I'm gonna go ahead now, I'm logged into my dashboard, here it is, Optimized Press. And there's many different pages that you can build with this thing, right? It's not just one type of page, you know, that you can build. I mean, you have landing pages or squeeze pages, however you wanna call them. You have sales page templates, thank you pages, uh, membership pages. Now it comes with a few templates. I don't remember how many. You can also create your own templates in here too. But what's really cool is that I can create a template in here. And if I get a client, a local client, I and, and uh, you know I convince them, hey, you need Optimized Press if you want a professional website and they start using it. I can create a template in here and save it out as a zip file and import it into their Optimized Press at their place of business. So they can already have a ready done template, they just have to import it. So pretty cool. Um, like I said, I don't recall the exact number of templates you get because I joined the uh, club where you can get so many new templates, like hundreds and hundreds of templates in there that you can download and install in here. And I did install quite a few that I liked. But when you're a marketer like me, you want new pages you know with a different look and feel for different types of products and whatnot so it's a good place to start these are all professional looking um i even have a christmas template here that i use for christmas uh when i do christmas sales and whatnot so pretty cool so let's go ahead i want to show you right quick some of the pages and kind of how you know what you can get a feel for what the designs kind of look like whenever you customize them and whatnot so i'm gonna open up a few pages 
that I've done in here and you can kind of get a better idea of what they look like. Okay, so I got some pages loaded up in here, so let's have a look. So here is the last product that I launched called the Flash Method, and this was entirely done in Optimized Press 2.0. You wanna see it in better detail, just go to the URL and check it out. I know I'm scrolling fast. Okay, here is one of my single opt-in pages again. And here is a double opt-in page. So if they click this button and they can fill in their email. And this is also integrated with different autoresponders. So that's cool. Here is a uh, diet website that I build. It's a very, very simple landing page. And here's another little simple sales page that I made for one of my old, old products. I don't even think I sell this anymore. I think I took it off. So let me show you how to integrate your autoresponder in here. To integrate your software, you actually have to go into the global settings, okay? To have the features available inside of the page builder. So you're gonna wanna do that before you actually start creating pages if you're gonna do squeeze pages. That way it'll be available inside of the uh, opt-in form. Okay, so you would go to Optimize, Press. Let me scroll up here so I can see it. Okay, so Optimize, Press. So I wanna actually go to the dashboard here. And this will be the global settings where you can change different things such as your headers and footers and logos, all that good stuff. So what we're looking for here is autoresponder setup email marketing services right here so click that okay so right here you can see all of the integration programs they have so it has pretty much integration for email marketing services in here right so for mine let's just say get response so if you click this you're gonna have to do is go and get this number here, your API key from GetResponse or whatever email program that you're gonna be setting up. It's pretty much gonna be the same. You add your API key in there and uh, then you'll be good to go. But that's about it. So let's go back inside of Optimize Press here and I'm gonna show you how easy it is just to create a page so I'm just gonna do a basic squeeze page since that'll be the quickest and I don't like my videos to go too long, just to kind of give you an idea of how this functions. So I'm just gonna choose an opt-in page here. So I'll just, uh, another cool little thing, you can click on the preview button if you want to preview the template before you use it. So if I click that, this will open the preview page. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Okay, if you click that, it's like a double opt-in process here so close that out hey let's say I want to use that so I'm gonna go ahead and use this template I'm gonna go ahead and name this I'm just gonna call this uh, landing page test and you can check availability right here it'll tell you if that page is available if you do so many pages you might forget where you name them so that helps so as you can see we have different elements on here so if you're not familiar with how Optimize Press works, it works with elements on the page. So you can either add an element or edit an element. So if you wanted to edit this text here, you would click on this little pencil icon here to edit that. Click that, it opens a box. And you can just click in here and edit the text like you want, right? Go ahead and close that out. You can uh, upload a logo here. Okay, so you just select file. Now in here you can choose from a file on your computer which automatically uploads to your media and WordPress, or you could choose it from your media if you have that in there already. Let me see if I can find something right quick. Let's just type in logo. I don't know what I have. Might be my logo if it might come up here. Okay, there we go, web logo, I'll choose that. Okay, 
and you just scroll down and choose what size you want it to be medium large these are unavailable because it's already a small image so I'm just going to insert into post here now this is the thing that I don't like after you do insert into post which to me it should insert it and it should be you know viewable but you still have to scroll down all the way to the bottom and choose insert so that's one of the things that I don't like and this is for all the elements you have to make sure you insert it after you insert it which is kind of stupid kind of like double working but yeah I mean it's something that I can deal with I still like the software now to do the double opt-in here you have to do a few things because you want to change the button so you click on the little box icon here and this will show me the box with the button on it it's called the overlay optimizer okay that's for the button itself so you can change the text by clicking on that change the text in here uh, let's see download now something like that right you can also change the color in the styling tab here so let's say I wanted this to be red with the orange fade on the bottom well that looks more pink huh <laughs> let's see here we go this is probably gonna look ugly but it as you can see right here it, it automatically changes while you change so if I made this blue scroll up you can see that it's already changed okay so that's how that works you can do a gradient and a shine that's how that looks right there pretty nice so let's go ahead and stick with that so scroll all the way down to the bottom choose insert again make sure you do that each time or you won't save what you've done now even though I did this you still have to go over here and save the page again so Okay, save and continue just to make sure that those changes are saved in case something happens there's also actually an automatic feature in here now in the global settings that you can turn on so it automatically saves changes as you go pretty cool feature but I think mine is off right now all right so now we need to edit the autoresponder section so we click on the pencil icon for that okay just remember the box is going to be set for the optim the overlayer here for the button and the pencil icon is going to take you inside of that element okay so now we can edit this now again we have to click on the pencil icon again here and it opens inside of that element So for the HTML, this is where you're going to set up your automation to your uh, whichever autoresponder you're using. So as you can see, mine shows get response because that's what I set up in the main global settings. So if I click that, then I can choose which list. It takes a few seconds to populate which list I want. Then I can click in the drop down box and select that, whatever the proper list that I want. Okay, so that's how you do that. The thank you page URL. So your thank you page URL will go here, wherever you want to redirect your customers after they opt in or subscribers uh, for that matter. Okay, uh, if you want to disable the name, so if you're just doing opt-in forms, which I recommend just using the email for that, just click this box. So you want to uh, segment your list or something like that, um, you would probably go ahead and use the name, right? Because they're already your customer so just leave the name in there and then what you want to do is you want the name to show first so you keep that at zero but remember to name the email field one so that shows second and then you just click insert down here okay then after that does its thing then you want to click this update button okay so that's done now i want to click save and continue Okay, so that's saved. All right, so the next step is to view public link here. So you can right click on that, open a new tab. Let me go ahead and close these other browsers off. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Got the logo in place. You got a nice headline, some subtext here. Download now. Enter your name, email address, 
and download the guide. Okay, so pretty straightforward, pretty simple, right? As you can see down here, here's my GDPR cookie consent that I use. Okay, so I'm gonna close this out. I'm gonna go ahead and save and close that. Okay, so that's gonna wrap up this little video. It was an overview of Optimize Press. Like I said, it's a brief overview. It, it, there's a lot of things in here. There, it even comes with a membership program called Optimize Member for free when you pick it up. Um, basically, it's a one-time option. So you can pay for Optimize Press. The only thing you have to do is, I think it's a 30 or $40, maybe $49 a year fee just to keep the updates. So once you have the software installed, you won't be charged again for a year but you won't be paying the uh, buy price. You'll be paying just the update fee. So that about wraps up this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that it helps you make an educated decision on if you think this software will help your marketing business or not. Thanks for your time and interest. I'm Ronnie Rocksmith with USA Digi and USA Digi Academy. And guys, happy marketing. All the blood is rushing to my head. Hurry up. Click another video.